so yet again we are here to do the Lemil update. It's been maybe like two or three months I last played it, mainly because I was transitioning to the new headset. So this is actually the first time I'm playing it on the Pro and I wonder how with the tracking and just the whole performance if it's just gonna be a better experience. From this patch I'm mostly curious about the space station environment, just the quality and actually now you can see which map each workout has, like, see? quality of life improvements and I guess tapping your hands like I don't think it was before <laughs> what I would like though is the name of the map <laughs> cause we only have the names of the workouts but like I'm not sure which one is new I guess here this one we done so yeah I mean this is clearly a space station <laughs> classically I don't want to kill myself today so let's do the medium one. It's a decent length, I guess. Hey, I hope you have a good time in this workout. High energy, really tune into the coaching and just give it your best. <laughs> he has a beard now. And they got a new microphone. <laughs> so, the map. Oh, you even have like moving ships and stuff. So this is more like an active Oh wow, uh, I think this is the best quality I've seen of 360. I don't even know if it actually is 360, like that might be just assets in the whole environment, but this is the best earth looking thing I've ever seen. Oh wait, and this ship casts a shadow on it from downstairs. How does that even work? <laughs> Front stance. Everybody to the dance floor. Sky punch left, right, and now squat and do that again. But right, left. So we're alternating sides. Three punches. Hands up, drive out of the legs. Let's get the blood pumping through the lower body and up overhead. Quicker. Yay, bring that speed. I told you it was high energy. Down up. No time to think. Just keep moving. Let's get grooving. All right, come into combat stance. Left foot forward, body shots. Left, right, left, right. Now this ain't no hammer punch, right? This is elbows up, driving down. Now straight punches, but we're cruising. So I ain't trying to like smash anyone just yet. Just cruise and roll the shoulders. Now, uppercuts, loose, flowing, going. Now headshots. So this is just over the head of someone my size. A little bit taller, keeps the heart rate up. And now we're gonna work our way back down slowly as we make the target shift lower. To the body. Nice! All right, front stance. Let's hook. Left side and right. Awesome. Now we're getting to the shoulders. Everybody Elbows are nice and high, hands are nice and high. So we're rotating from the center of the chest. Hip and heel has to rotate behind these punches because they're circular in nature. They're speed. Now breathe out. Ba -ba. Beautiful. But hold on. Things are going to get real interesting now. Put your right leg forward. Strike down, jabs, crosses. Now straight punches down, like ground and pound. So your chin's tucked in and you're looking down towards the floor. Now look directly in front of you. Straight punches, jabs and crosses. Beautiful. All we're doing is changing the angles, not the strikes. Uppers. So elbows in. Forearm sits in the center of the chest. Beautiful. Now straight punches again, but above the line of the shoulder. That's going to take the heart rate up. From this point... We're going to start to change the angle. Again, okay. he's coming back down. Beautiful. Now stay where you are. Take your feet wide. Everybody We're squatting down. <laughs> Don't come up. Not yet. Chest up. Okay, Everybody stand up. Jab left and right. Hold on. Squat down. T-punch. It's fast. Easy does it, though. So there's still no power. 
The biomechanical movement of your body is preparing yourself for the high energy workout that you're about to embark on. The excitement, the adrenaline, the energy! Everybody to the dance floor. All right, left knee. Right neck. Let's get those knees involved. Side of knees, please. Speaking of side, we're going on the angle. So you're going to tip your body and reach to the corner, the diagonal, and pull across the body. Straight down the middle. Get your knee up nice and high. Heel close to the butt. On the angle, lean. Imagine you're holding a big swinging bag and you're trying to pull it towards you and drive that knee up. Well done. Straight punches. A bit of flow to get out of here. Shoulders rolling. Time's out. Good job, everybody. Everybody to the Get dance down. <laughs> now I'm joking. We're done. It's a good warm up. Um, it's nice with the additional haptics and stuff like that. Like, I feel more that I'm playing, though. Good choice. Picking feels right. Well, let me tell you something. By the end of this workout track, your triple hit combos are gonna feel real good. Left foot forward, combat stance, left jab. Three of them, and then a jab, upper jab. Lead with the cross, three times, under, over. That's your combo. We're gonna sit in this rhythm. What rhythm rate? Sounds like this. Bam, 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 bam. Left side, right side. So we're alternating between the left side and the right side. We've got it. Big combo. Jab cross. Eight reps. Let's go. Triple combo. Three, two, up, down, up. You got it? All right, let's get some shoulders rolling. So tuck in the chin, roll the shoulders, and then get down on the uppercut, driving out of the legs. So a good, nice, wide stance gives you a great chance to use the core. Hook time. So let's work on that left hook. Now we're gonna go left, right. Here it comes, left, right. So we're speeding up the hooks, plant your feet, release your heels, turn your hips. One, two, three. Add the upper. So we've got three shots. I talked about it before. To get it feeling right, you need to make the power come out of the core. Chin down, hands up. Slip, slip. Hey! One, two, three. Now the reason we're getting you to move your shoulders is once you've thrown that killer shot, you need to get out of the way of theirs. So to get out of the way, you know what to do. You're gonna tuck your chin, but keep your eyes up. Slipping your shoulders forwards and back like a washing machine. It feels right, doesn't it? All right, jab, jab, upper, right side. Now hook time, two slips. What's that, Rach? Oh, I'll tell you what it is. It's a big combo. If you haven't guessed it, it feels right. So let's go. One, two, three. Right side. Hook time. Slipping in, slipping out, and it's starting to feel good. That's why it's called feels right. When it feels right, it feels good. Plant your feet. Get under the uppercut. That's right. Drive out of the legs. Tuck and roll, baby. Yeah! <laughs> I love it, Rach. Tug and roll, baby! All right, put your right leg forward. We're going to do the same thing again. Second time through. Let's intensify it. Tuck your chin. Put your dukes up. Let's hit power jabs. Go. Hit the uppers. Now hit the cross. Go. One and one. And ba, ba, ba. See that center of the target? Aim for it. Try and get as much precision as you can. Same thing applies. We want full range. Release the hip and heel as you hit. And now watch how many circles appear when you smack it as hard as you can. All right, come on, let it flow. You're in the rhythm now. Power it, up and under. We want to get the shoulders ignited. We want to get the back muscles ignited. We want to get the core muscles ignited. And so when you see multiple circles and then you see the targets explode, you know you've hit it as hard as you possibly can. The score goes up and the combos are building. All right, let's change it up. Hooks. Tuck your chin. Elbows up nice and high. 
Now we want the ricochet in the shoulders. Quick reactions. Yep. Ba, ba. Release the hip and heels. Ooh, I love that. When that extra uppercut comes in, notice how you've got to roll your shoulders. You've got to go over, over, under. Almost like you're creating the figure of eight just at the last point of the uppercut. Come on, get out of the way. Ooh. <laughs> Just enough to move your shoulders as you're slipping, tuck your chin in. You can keep your feet still. Naturally, I know you want to shift and move your body from side to side, but keep in your stance, plant your feet, and just move your upper body. Power shots. Now keep moving through it, because we're building that full combo, letting it come together. <laughs> nice deep breaths. Excellent. Now lean into this one. Dig deep. Awesome. Beautiful, yes. Hold on to that. Now we're getting really close. Come on. Magnify this one now. Intensify this. Lean into the strikes. Commit to the strikes. Awesome. Now go bigger. You're very, very close. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Move. Hit it. Blue. And that's all on you. Great work. Thing is that I'm kind of scared of letting go of my controls because they're expensive. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's necessarily perfect for exercise, but everything is nice with the tracking and stuff. Let's get playful with our training. Put your left leg forward, put your dudes up. Alternating sky punch. Now squat down, stand up, double. Woo! Excellent, let's do that again. I love the rhythm of this song. Singles. Now triple left uppercut. Left, left. Cross, upper, cross, upper, go! Stand the moment for a little while, bend your knees, tuck your chin in, roll your shoulders, rotate inwards. Now we've got circular hooks. Three on the left, one on the right, and then a jab cross. One more time, and then we're gonna go from the top. Let's squat down and stand up. Repeat that. Climb to the top with the alternating single sky punch. Left, right, left, right, and drop. Stand up. Great. Elbows fall to the face. Get down nice and low on the squat. Back to the uppercuts. Round number two. We're going to be sitting in this exercise for a little bit longer. Because it's vertical striking, let's not just lean forward. Lean forward, then rotate in and up. So you want to release the front heel. Hit the hooks. Same thing. You want to release the hip and heel off the front leg. And any time you strike off the back, you duplicate the same technique off the back. But just know, front arm's fast, back arm is power. Now, let's play. We're going to go jab, 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 cross, slip right. Woo! Do that again. I just want to, I just want to slip and slip. Now, you don't need to move your feet when you slip. Plant your stance. Back yourself. Just drop your upper body so the shoulders move off the center line. The head moves off the sense line. That's how it's going to register that you moved out the way. That's where you get the points. Slip, slip. Squat down, stand up. Sky punch. Great. Awesome. We're coming up halfway now. I just want to climb that mountain. Oh, yeah. Switch side. Right side. Left side. Squat down, stand up. That's the thing about climbing a mountain. Once you get to the top, you don't just celebrate getting to the top. You celebrate the journey and all the things in preparation you had to do before you even started to climb. In this case, did you have the right stance? Your hands in the right position? Did you rotate the shoulders? Did you hit the center line of the target? Are you hitting the target heavy and hard enough that it's going to explode into lots of little pieces so the combo goes up, that your scoreboard goes up if that's what rocks your world? Right now, your heart rate might be going up. Right now, you might be feeling inspired and motivated. Right now, you might be having a big smile on your face because you're in the moment. Anchor yourself in this moment. Right in the center of the target. You see them explode? I love this environment. Don't distract me. Who says you can't have fun whilst you're training? Thank you. Thank you for downloading this app. Thank you for training with me. 
I know you're probably thinking to yourself, that down, he's a cool guy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is great effort. Good job. Play with it. Single, single, jab, cross, slip. Go. We're in the closing last 30 seconds or so. The clock's ticking down. Let's finish, not with just a smile on our face, but with sweat pouring off our body. T-shirt starting to cling to the body a little bit, but feeling really good. Feeling great on the outside, feeling great on the inside. You selected this routine. It's a fun one. Great, great effort. Let's bring it home. You know when you hit that blue ball, come on. Explode it now. Brilliant. They seem more enthusiastic overall. <laughs> Did you notice, like, when you hit the start of the combo, the environment, like, color changes? It's just the small stuff. I love that intro. Woo! -woo! <laughs> That's how I feel about this next routine. All right, let's start in left combat stance. Nice high boxing guard. Moving fast. All right, jab and cross. One, 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 one. It's a left, right, left, and a left, right, left. Epic. Great start so far. Get those combos building. Adding on some power shots. Front, back, front, back, and front. It's a jab, cross, jab. Right uppercut, left uppercut. You've got to get the elbows in. All right, now power training. We're going to go back, front, down, down, up. Let's do that again. Front, back, front, back, and front. Back, front, back, front. The difference is, is you've got to squat down out of the way, especially as you hit those low shots. They're still jabs, but they're just low jabs. Speed bag. Roll the fists around the wrist. In a moment, we're going to pick up the pace, all right? Here it comes. Go. Oh, wow. Can you take your hands a little bit higher? So that's going to elevate your elbows. That will elevate your heart rate. Increased heart rate will burn <laughs> more calories, all right? Feet wide, battle rope slam, double together, hammer side, double together, hammer side. Pick it up to a piece, out wide. Drop down, out wide, let's go. So as you take both hands down outside the line of the fire, ensure your knees are bent. And as you open your chest with the hammers out to the side, squeeze your shoulder blades and add as much power as you want. Fantastic. Oof. All right, let's go. Right foot forward, jab, cross, jab. It's a hundies kind of track. What's well, a hundies track, Rach? It's one of those tracks where you put 100% effort in. Whatever day you rock up, you bring that effort. Let's add on those uppercuts. Back arm, front arm. Now you got to believe in yourself now. This is a sweet traditional boxing combo. Nice little bit of flow and then power off the back and the front. Let's go. Add on. Cross, jab, cross, jab. Head shots, body shots. We're going head hunting. We're recruiting. Yeah, baby. Are you bending your legs? Don't be ducking your head under that wall. Use your legs. Come on, come on, get down, get down, get down. That's it, that's it. Now speed bag, slow. So using the hammer part of the fist, you should be able to see your fist right up by your face and your elbows are out, side to side. I love this bit. Get it. Mm, mm, mm. Get it, what? Hitting the speed bag, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but that's just magic moment right there. Front stands. Battle rope slam. T-punch. Battle rope slam. Two and two. It's you. Now chest. Lift it. Bend your knees. Go wide with the battle slam. And then squeeze your shoulder blades on the T-punch. Down, down, inhale. Exhale. Hands up over your head and then drop the hammer. That's it. Last one, last one. Oi, all right, Dan. Final round. Jab left and right. Stand that white stance. We're hooking. 
We're picking up the pace. Let's go. Punch, 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 punch. Twist and twist. It's a four, three, two, one. When we say finisher in this last final block, what we're trying to do now is to take your heart rate really high, bring huge intensity, power, concentrated power into your strikes. Just the jabs. Let's go. 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. You get it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pick up the pace. Go, 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 go. To the very end. Rush it. Rush, rush. <laughs> awesome job. Oof. Slam dunk. No one's stopping. You just rockin' to the top. I mean, I'm sweating and stuff like that. Duh. I'm not dying though, so I guess this is my like optimal exercise routine. But I'll catch my breath. <laughs> Pretty good, like it's just top tier stuff all across the board, just like always. I like the small details, like with the colors and just the new haptics with the controllers. At least they support the headset. I'm not sure why I get more misses than playing on the Quest 2. Maybe it's just because I'm too fast or like it's just a different dynamic with those controllers. Cause tracking is perfect and all. Maybe it's just specific to my hands that I don't like put the same power on both sides at the same time. I'm not quite sure, but besides that, the visuals, the performance, everything just works. I mean, it is my favorite application for workouts, so nothing really changes that in the future. 